Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe back with some more Mech Warrior on the line. We're going to start things out with the Blackjack BJ1 chassis. And this is, of course, dual AC2s and two medium lasers, which, from what I can tell, isn't exactly the most popular loadout these days. But for me, I love ranged combat, and uh, I somehow managed to do all right with them, so... To maintain that targets obviously sighted Target acquired. that's a spider so hitting him with auto cannons not exactly simple now with this loadout we're pretty fast but it is a medium so we're not necessarily designed to take a lot of damage but I've got the speed to get into a good sniping position or perhaps get out of harm's way uh, so I'm just waiting for targets to get lit up, and then we'll move in. Playing it similar to how I play most any vehicle, I suppose. I see right now, we've got some targets popping over the hill perhaps a little bit here. There's that spider. We're taking some splash damage, I think. Not sure what that was about. These guys are probably taking some hits and trying to back off. Contact on an Atlas there. Gonna go for some headshots. Just gonna let him have it. If he wants to sit there, that's fine by me. Continue to let him have it. Might have an auto cannon on him, so we need to be careful. And he is done. Nice early kill. He put himself in the wrong position there. All right. Check the flanks. Target, target spider. New target acquired. Uh, stalker is. Within firing range. Not max damage range, though. He is engaging a friendly. It's kind of a dangerous thing to do. By yourself. Make sure to stay with... Some more friendlies here. Some side armor hits on that. Stalker, rear armor there. He's giving me the good stuff, but now we've lost him. You can see how this advanced zoom comes in real handy. Got some lasers for Mr. Spider. Taken out by a friendly. Alright, Stalker's bailing. We are in hot pursuit. No pun intended. Contacts left as well, another Atlas. Don't really need advanced zoom for this one. How's that stalker? Is he done? I'm thinking. So, the Atlas. Maybe we can come up on his flank unless, no, it looks like they've finished him off. Now, I don't really want to get separated from my team here. What are we dealing with there? Spider. We've got two contacts left. A couple of lights. Some under ECM. Raven. And Spider. Let's see if we can close in on them. Ugh, trying to get over this hill. Target India. Oh, hello! 
That was a mistake. They are all covered by ECM. I did not realize that was going to happen. Took a little too much damage there. Let's back out. Alright, hopefully my team saw that. And what I'm going to do is cut back around this side of the hill. New target acquired. See, they're after these lights here. That's a hard target to hit. I'm not even really that good. We need to worry about this flank. New target acquired. Oh, friendly fire, my bad. Kind of confused them for Kilo. Good thing it was just an AC2. Cataphract, I think, to the left. I'll watch what we're doing here. ECM. New target acquired. Work on this Atlas a little bit. Incoming. Alright, we grabbed their attention so the other team members can perhaps move in on them. Watch it, watch it. Let's not get cocky there, but he's on the retreat. It's the Atlas, he's lit up. Let me go for that right torso. Alright, we're able to lock onto him now. He's been countered, I think. down. Juliet, finishing off that stalker. 66 rounds on the AC2. Juliet is down. Still dealing with lights here. Shot to the back. Cataphract, showing some weak armor. Check for friendly fire. He's down. And that concludes that battle. Nicely done. We had the team all over on that one. Uh, had a close call when I went over that hill, and you really have to be careful because a lot of the time the enemy is using electronic countermeasures, and that is a 499 game with the uh, AC2 and medium laser loadout. I love it. I seem to do pretty well in the 400s usually uh, in good games. I don't think I've ever beaten 400. I think that was actually the highest score I've gotten with that loadout, I think. Kill assist 9, 1 kill credit, component destruction 3. It'd almost be cool to have a little bit more detailed information, like uh, if you could click on it and then maybe it would open up uh, and show you what you damaged on the enemy mechs and stuff like that. I don't know. It might be kind of neat. All right. And here we are within the Jaeger mech. DD chassis. And uh, JM6 DD, to be precise. This, this is an interesting loadout that I've created. I've got dual Gauss rifles and two medium lasers for backup. And 60 rounds of Gauss ammunition. Uh, obviously, a sniper mech for me, and I've tested it a few times already, and it has actually been pretty effective. Now, in this map, we'll see. Uh, this ends up being a close quarter brawl just because there's so much building cover. And uh, you'll also notice that I have the Gauss rifles uh, grouped to fire simultaneously. So if I hit my left mouse button for the one grouping, they're both going to fire at the same time. I have played around with chain firing them, uh, which is also effective, but I kind of like that double punch you get from firing them both. I'm still playing around with it, so that might change, but we'll see. Because there are times where you're going to want to have the shot, one shot as uh, somebody might back into cover and you might want to re-aim that. We do, of course, have our advanced zoom. I carry it over to pretty much every mech, just because it works as, you know, like a binocular as well, so that's nice. 
But see, right now we want to be careful. I'd like to try to get some high ground. We can, of course, switch to our thermal vision here uh, just to help see. Otherwise, in this map, you're always dealing with the harsh weather conditions. All right, so we've got some targets. See if we can grab some high ground. I don't really like pushing up this way because I find that I run into the enemy. Uh, I don't know if I can... Not really any good luck for headshots there. Target acquired. Keeping an eye on my mini-map as well in case somebody wants to pop up from the front. In any game, you really don't want to overextend. Shots out on golf, catapult, and apparently there's somebody behind me, which is really ruining my day there. Alright, man down. Or mech down, I should say. Let's see if we can push up a little bit here. We do have cover from friendly mechs, so... Somebody's got a missile lock on me, apparently. Shots fired from the left. For some reason, I'm being targeted target quite a bit. Acquired. Contact front. Took his arm off. It's hard getting used to the uh, lack of speed the Jaeger mech has. He's wanting to back off from this. Shots out. Component destroyed, taking his arm off as well. Shot out, but just ducking that one. Letting him have it at range. Got some lasers there again to back up. Check right. Trying to work on some of those arms. Oh, he's down. Didn't need to fire that shot. Again, just trying to keep uh, friendlies around me. Not sure if he shut down or what, but uh, he's seen better days. Now, we do have to remember that uh, capturing points is crucial to success, so... Let's see if we can grab Epsilon. There are parts of the map where you don't need to use the thermal vision, but in that situation, I think just sometimes it's better to fight with it on because I'm not used to where the blizzard is uh, the worst, I suppose. Gamma, Epsilon, Kappa... They're obviously at Sigma, and I'm going to go ahead and check to see how many they have left. They have one left. Something tells me it's a light. So we're going to be hunting. And if I take a look at the mini-map, Sigma, bring her about. on through here. That was a pretty good engagement. Solid. I was a little worried in the beginning because we took some unnecessary hits. Uh, not that any hits are necessary, but were we, we were able to fire off some good shots. A lot of component damage, taking some arms. Target acquired. Now this Jenner, not going to be an easy target, but we've got everybody else rolling towards him, so I feel safe. He can obviously run circles around us. Uh, 
looks like he's facing the other direction. But I'm gonna try to cut him off in case he runs this way. But I think he's just circle fighting. Try to get on his flank, but again, I'm just really, really, really slow. That's why it's good to have some lasers loaded, just in case you run into a light attack. So you can see here, this would be a good spot for thermals. We're not going to be able to catch him. Somebody else is going to get him. Do we have any other lights that are on him? He's getting hit by missiles, at least, I think. And there we go. It's always a light. Every single time. If there's one left behind, you can pretty much count on it being a light. So how did we do here? Where are we at? Uh, 342 with the dual gauss setup. Not bad at all. I'll take it. We've got seven kill assists, three component destruction, spotting assist one. Not bad. I am actually liking this loadout. I have also tried dual AC-20s, which is fun, but the AC-20s obviously are built for a medium to short range, and maybe even in most cases a short range engagement, so uh, the Gauss is just a fantastic sniper weapon, and I do love it. So let's go ahead and finish her off with one more game. And here we are in what so far has been my least favorite map in the game, Terra Therma. Not even because of the temperature. It is 95 degrees Celsius, but it's not even the reason I don't like this map. It's mostly because they've centralized an attack point. And when you do that, it psychologically you know, messes with people in, in some ways. They always think that that's where they've got to go. Now, if you're playing a uh, conquest mode, of course, you have to grab the, the center point uh, along with the others. Well, you don't have to, but it's obviously best to, to grab it because it can uh, be defended if you do manage to hold it. But the problem is, is that people just end up meeting there and it turns into a, uh, a bottleneck for an unprepared team. I generally like to avoid it, but when I'm playing by myself and I don't have any support, there's not much choice because if you're a mech and you're caught out side uh, of your squad, then you're toast. So I'm gonna see if anybody else is gonna maybe split and go a different direction. Doesn't look like it. Well, there's two guys here veering off. But uh, I should also mention that I I am in my Orion, the 1V. And uh, this is pretty much a brawler setup. We've got the AC-20, two medium pulse la lasers, and uh, dual SRM-6s in the arms. So you can see that uh, we've got multiple contacts center. And uh, if anything, we'll try to come up from this flank and see what happens. Now we just don't want to get caught in the bottleneck situation here. Yep, they're kind of far away. Most of them looking at us, already taking some bad hits. I had thought that the other side had pushed in, but I guess not. We've got somebody looking to cap their base. That'll work as a nice distraction. Enemy is being captured. I'd love for them to try to come through this bottleneck. It 
does give them high ground, but new target acquired. It's better than us going through there. I mean, there's no reason to go in there. Enemy base is That's the thing. Captured. There's there's no point in there. This isn't conquest. So, really, you know what? Our team is being smart by capturing. They're aware of our presence there. Sometimes it's just about surviving. And we've got Contact Echo, which is a Jenner. If I have to deal with them, I can, but... We've got somebody complaining, telling them to not cap because it's not fun. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Win at all costs. I mean, it took a take a look at the map here so their base is there if we can prevent um, them from getting back to the base now the Jenner might be going back to assist I don't really have my pulse lasers are the only things on my arms there so I really new target acquired I have to fall back. Taking way too many hits. Got a friendly catapult here. He's gonna have to come outside that bridge there, but. Yeah, too much damage. Flank is secure. It's also an Orion, so we need to be careful. He can take some hits. Catapult still with me. I don't know if he's got any backup down there. I didn't see anybody else follow him. New target acquired. How about New that guy? Acquired. Looks like they managed to take him out. Pulse lasers might be a bit target hot for this. Acquired. Thank you. Get him in the back. PC-20. Letting them have it with pretty much everything I've got. Heat level critical. Gotta be careful with that heat, though. I'm a bit more damaged than he is. Overheating. I gotta calm it down a little bit. He's missed his AC shot. Behind. Oh, we get him as we shut down. Override that shutdown. <laughs> oh boy, you know, thank goodness I had this uh, catapult here. It looks like he had seen better days too. Okay, well, we're damaged. I thought I had had it there. Heat management on this mech, not fantastic. Those pulse lasers aren't helping out. I might actually have to trade them in for just regular. Up, oh, some bad shooting there. I'm not good because I've got some critical components messed up. They're letting that... Oh, I think they got the hunchback from the back as he was going through there. Oh, a misery? No thanks. That's a stalker. He's, well, he's wounded, but so am I. We can move to engage from the flank, perhaps. This might be a suicide mission. But I've got guns, you know? I'm not going to camp and just try to stay alive. New target acquired. Quick draw. New target acquired. I've got friendlies all over him, so keep moving. Oh, he's done. Target acquired. Jenner. Uh, surprise, surprise. He's crit, though. I 
think they got him. All right, stat check. Two hostiles. It might be a good idea to try to capture and just lure them back to their base, if that's the way it's going to be. Charlie Niner. I can't go over this, can I? I suppose I can, but... I don't want to damage my legs, and I'm not sure what terrain can handle me at times. Not exactly the way I wanted to go. We're gonna come around here. Now, in this situation, what could they be doing? Well, could they be back at base waiting for us to attack? I mean, are they just wandering around the map? Looking for targets, who knows? Definitely going back to try to grab that capture. Okay. One target sighted. You have to be careful because sometimes you run into uh, a mech that's 100% and perhaps skilled and manages to take out quite a few of your teammates. A target acquired. And Orion as well, so it looks like we found them. They're both facing that way, but again, they're just going to be in a turn fight, so no matter which way I approach from. It's not really going to matter. I think the Orion is the only thing left. Probably won't get there in time, and that is that. These guys just being ridiculous in chat. Capping is, is legit. You know, it's there. It's just the same as in any game. Uh, I know it might not be as fun, but what are you going to do? It's in the game, right? So, anyway, what did we do there? Uh, let's look at the player stats. 262 damage, one component destruction, kill assist one and one kill. Not as great as our other games, but we still managed to survive and take some people with us, do some damage. So any time that I can survive in this map, I will gladly take it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at Mech Warrior Online. If you haven't checked this title out, it is, of course, free to play. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, and also, don't forget to check out the guys at NoGutsNoGalaxy.net. I'll have those links down there as well. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one.